Jeff Williams, Team Catfish Tackle. I'm with my good friend Danny Halgren today. Uh, we're on the Neosho River and it is February 23rd. Now I wanted to start off this year fishing with our Secret 7 and showing you how versatile of a bait the Secret 7 is. And I want to show you how cold a water you can actually catch catfish on with the Secret 7. Now I, film, uh, I didn't film but I fished two days ago and we caught uh, channel cats up to about six pounds in uh, 47 degree water. I'm looking at my locator right now. Uh, I'm looking at 45.8, 45.9 degree water. Now I just missed a fish and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of show you a little bit about what we're setting up here targeting and fishing and how we're using the Secret 7. Now one of the things we noticed last year was how finicky these fish can be toward this dip bait early in the year. As the water warms, later on in the year these fish don't get near as finicky and they don't pay as much attention to the bait holders that, uh, that they, they really prefer. Now we're experimenting with our 3 aught double action hook with our tube chunks. Okay, this is another product we're looking at, at bringing out and, it, and what we've done is we've just cut our tubes up into uh, chunks and we're putting them on our double action catfish hooks. Now we're using the Secret 7 dip bait, uh, very easy to use. Denny, let's just show them here a little bit uh, about the bait. All we've got here, we've just got a paint paddle, uh, we just take the bait, we stir it up. I've actually added just a little bit of vegetable oil to this because it's so cold out here right now. Folks, it was, how cold was it this morning, Denny? It was below freezing this morning when I walked outside the first time. Okay, so we had frost on everything this morning. I left the bait set out in the sun. We put black lids on all of our bait. It's set out here in the boat so it got warm. The black lid heats the bait up very quickly. And we're going to show you how to catch some cat channel cats on dip bait in 45 degree water today. Oh man. Well, I had to catch him on your rod, Denny. Not a great big channel cat, but. He was aggressive. He did eat, he hit hard, he ate our dead red tube, and the water is 45.9 degrees. Now that just goes to show you that you, you can catch a lot of fish in the winter time on dip bait. This fish is cold folks, I'm telling you. Uh, one of the other things we did this year uh, that I feel like is going to uh, make a big advantage in our products is, I'm going to let this little fish go right here. That's first first channel cat of the day. We put a uh, cam action hook inside of our tubes. It's the same design as an old true turn. And what we noticed, my friend Mike Cook out in Kansas and my friend Denny Halgren been using these in their tubes for years. And these things will roll inside those tubes when those catfish when those catfish get a hold of it. They roll and it's just it's just hard to keep from hooking them. Now we've got circle hooks on, our double action circle hooks, and we've got this hook on, and we're just out here experimenting. Denny, kind of zoom in there where you, and explain to everybody where you threw that uh, bait. Well, the first cast we made into there, I threw directly into the root ball, right in front of it, and the current swept it to the right of it a little bit. There was just enough current with these three ounce sinkers that's brought it to the right into that funnel. And that funnel is just right in between, going down alongside the log itself. So you just threw just pretty much to the right of the old slick log right down there where we, where we took that fish from. Exactly. Okay, well, this is, uh, we've got about a thousand cubic feet of water per second here on the Neosho River. Uh, like I said, it's February 23rd. Uh, as history says, we should not be able to come out here and catch channel cats in 45 degree water with dip bait. But we're doing it. That was the first fish of the day, and that's where Denny cast it. We got a hit going right there. Right there. I seen that out of the corner of my eye. Now that's got our double action hook on it, and what I was going to do is I was going to reel down on that and try to hook that fish because we got our our tube chunks on there. That right there, Jeff, is in about two foot of water. 
Okay. But it's on the left side of that root ball, which just kind of creates a little funnel going down through there. All right, well, we're going to let everything set still. We're going to put some more Secret 7 on this uh, dead red tube and get it back out there. I think he's got it. Now that one's got the... Go get out of that wood. Coming out of the wood. That's got that double action on it, doesn't it? Yep. That's the one we just stopped. Yeah. We just stopped and again, not a uh, great big channel cat, but still a lot of fun for February. Now we'll show the what, what we're using on that. I think this was the rig I was showing them when we, we did our introduction. Oh, just about a pound channel cat. Nice to take home. Looks good on a catfish sandwich. Um, this is our double action. Three aught hook, and what I've done was I took a dead red tube chunk and a white tube chunk, and I put them on a, a double action dead red hook, and we're dipping that in there. And uh, you saw me reel down and get that fish. So Denny's rods are ahead of me, two to zero. Let's get it back out there. Now I'm I'm getting a little bit uh, broader perspective here of what we're fishing. Uh, the root ball over there, the old tree um, that's down here where we took the first fish and then we took the second fish off of the left side of that root ball. Uh, Denny's getting ready to, uh, he's baiting up with some Secret 7 right now and he's going to cast right back into where we just took that second fish. Anything special you're looking for right there, Denny? Well, I really didn't want it to stay there. I thought it would sweep out in front of that root ball, but it stayed on the inside, and that's where we took that second fish. Okay. So why not throw one back in there? You bet. Right there, right at the edge. And what a, what a perfect ambush point for a, for a channel cat. Now, I'm going to get down here and show you this uh, locator, just so we can verify what this water temperature is. And there it is, 45.9 degrees. Uh, it is 4.38 in the afternoon, and uh, we're sitting in three and a half foot of water here at the back of the boat. Um, you're going to start to see me do quite a bit of filming this summer out of this boat. This is an 1860 uh, G3 boat with a 9065 Yamaha jet, and if you can look down through here, this is a prop-eating river, folks. I'm not kidding you at all. Uh, you just about have to have a jet. And uh, this rod getting ready to do something. Looks he, like it. Maybe he'll take it on down while I got the camera going. But anyway, that's where we're fishing. That's how deep the water was. That's where Denny cast, and we're going to try to land another one. Slam that rod. Okay. Is that what you call three eyes in the water? You got her going? Got her going, man. Good.